So one, I just realized my eyes are getting lighter, which I didn't notice. They're not purple yet, but they're getting lighter, which is cool. But that's not the thing I wanted to tell you. Samurai Jack is back. It's coming back on television. That is one thing that I would have television just to watch. And it's going to be a limited series, so it's not going to have a bunch of seasons. And it's on Adult Swim. It's going to be on Adult Swim. There's actually blood that comes out of him. It's not like black-looking oil like when it was on Cartoon Network. It's blood. It's red blood. And oh my god, it looks awesome. You have to look it up. You have to. Because I know at least some of my subscribers, when they were younger, they watched Samurai Jack. Or even if they're younger than me, they probably still watched old episodes of Samurai Jack online. But god, I am psyched. I always wanted this to happen. A Cartoon Network show to go on Adult Swim. I don't watch television anymore. But when I do, I watch three shows only. And I'll even watch reruns of one of the shows. I watch South Park. I watch, um, what's that other one? Archer. And I watch Always Sunny in Philadelphia. Not every day. I do not watch TV every day. I watch it rarely. I watch my subliminals. I listen to, uh, Delta music, and I online sometimes watch the cinema snob over the nostalgia critic. He's funnier than the nostalgia critic. It's a guy. It, there are some shows that I'll just watch clips from, like Family Guy, the show you learn absolutely nothing from except violence, transgenders, um, Sex, killing, violence, violence, violence. Family Guy never used to be that way, by the way. Until the owner, the creator of the uh, Family Guy, joined the Illuminati. <laughs> yeah, bet you didn't know that. But this video is, you can do your research on that. This, I'm just going to end it now. By the way, I'm growing out all my facial hair. And my hair. I'm going to have long hair again. But this time, I'm not going to wash my hair with soap. I went 16 years of my life washing my hair with soap. <laughs> Why? Because my dad or my older sister was playing a prank on me when I was younger. And they said, no, you wash your hair with this one. And... They gave me soap as a joke, and I used it until I was 16. And that murdered my hair. My hair actually was gray almost, and it was falling out. You could pull one of my hairs, and a bunch of them would just fall out. Don't use soap in your hair. Okay, these are the things, these are the goals that I have to do. I did this. I made this. I'm more interested in making cups than t-shirts, though, with my art. Um, buy web hosting. I'll do that in about two days. Read the 12 layers of DNA. Someone in the comments section told me to read that. So I'm going to. Well, I'm going to listen to the audiobook. I, I like re hearing the audiobook rather than reading the book. It's faster and it's easier. And that's it. Have a nice night, everyone. Uh... Oh, and one funny, hilarious last thing I want to tell you. So I keep telling my grandparents that a pole shift is going to happen and flooding's going to happen, mass floodings. Then early, like at 12 today, my grandpa, my step-grandpa turned the TV on and flooding everywhere. Whoa, panic, 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 panic on the news. And he runs over to my grandma and he's like, did you know that there's floodings everywhere? She completely doesn't say anything and ignores him. And then he's like, Honey, there are floodings happening close to us. That's bad. No response. My grandma does this thing where she just doesn't respond sometimes. So you know what I do is 
I go up to her face and I do this. This work that works on a lot of people. You annoy the fuck out of them until they respond. Because when someone ignores you, that's a, that's a form of abuse, by the way. If you didn't know that, neglect is a form of abuse. So when you don't respond to someone who is talking to you, you are abusive because you're ignoring them. It's okay if you're in a group of people and someone's talking and you don't like them and you just don't talk. But when someone asks you a direct question, you respond to them. You don't act like a three-year-old and ignore because you didn't get the food you wanted. Get it? Yeah. Yes. But I can't blame them. My grandparents aren't really important to the world. I've said this before in comments section. Why are you alive if you're not going to do anything extraordinary? If you're not going to be remembered in any way? Hell, even Hitler's soldiers were remembered. There are still Nazi soldiers that are remembered. And like, it seems the more bad things you do in history, the more you're remembered. So I wouldn't mind doing bad things in history, whether it's taking down the bad people that run the country, or whether it's taking down the stupid people that are ruining the country. Either way, I won't be forgotten. I've been that way since I was a little kid. I always say, would you rather be loved or remembered? And I always chose remembered. Goodbye.